Here he is, the one, the only... Hello, you vast unseen audience out there. And, <laughs> and thank you for letting me come into your homes. I don't mean tonight, I mean over the weekend while you're away. <laughs> George, what's cooking? Well, why don't we uh, see what the secret word is? I'm hungry. Is that, is that what you mean, what's cooking? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay, bring it down. This is the secret word. The duck, yeah. And if any of our couples say it, they win an extra $100. Gotcha, uh, Steve Wayne is sort of uh, champing at the bit to talk with you. An unfortunate... Uh... Champing at the bit? What is it, a horse? <laughs> <laughs> well, Steve Wayne is out there waiting well, to talk to you. He isn't champing at anything. No, he stopped champing now. <laughs> and his partner is Audrey Kaufman. She's our lovely young housewife. Is she champing too? Uh, no, she's just standing out there. And, uh, because she's actually seeking the title of Mrs. Housing Development of the United States. You may back not believe there? that, but that's she's... true. She's from Amarillo, She's Texas. taking it back there? No, 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 no. <laughs> she won't get her back there, I'm sure. We'll never get her out here if you don't let no. me finish, either. Uh, so why don't you folks I'm not sure in. that I want her Steve out here. Steve your marks now. Uh, <laughs> How do you do? Very good. Uh, welcome to television's finest hour. I say the sacred word, and, and you spend an extra $100. Pretty good, huh? Yes, very good. Steve Wayne and uh, Audrey Kaufman, huh? Audrey, you're from Gorilla, Texas? Amarillo, Texas. Am Amarillo. Yes. Huh? Now, are you living in a, in a housing development there, uh, Mr. Miss Ka Kaufman, Mrs. Kaufman? Yes, how we You're a Mrs., huh? That's right. Yeah. We live in the... Country. Obviously, you're married. Huh? Yes. <laughs> uh, do, you like, uh, do you like living in uh, Amarillo? Yes, I do very much. However, I didn't like it too well at first, but uh, after well, where I did you spring from? From Montana. Oh, from Montana? Yes. Well, how Montana. did you get to Texas? Well, my husband was transferred with an insurance company. He was in the army? No, he was. <laughs> no, in, he wasn't. In the insurance business? Yes, sir. Uh, has he sold a policy to anyone uh, you know? Yes, he sold most all of our friends, and he's even sold me a twelve thousand dollar policy, and I'm real hard to sell. He sold you a policy? Yes, twelve thousand. Well, who is the beneficiary? He is. <laughs> well, who else? Uh, my, when you go to bed at night, be sure to have a 45 under the pillow. <laughs> and don't turn out the lights, either. Okay. Now, your name is Steve Wayne, huh? That's right, that's my and, name. Uh, what's that? I say, that's my name, yes, sir. Uh, well, I just said that was your name. I mean, well, I wanted to agree with you. Well, yes, there's so no that's point my name. going over it over and over again. <laughs> Where are you from? Are you from Montana, too? No, sir. I was uh, born in St. Augustine, Florida, the oldest city in the United States. And when I was nine oh. years old, I moved to Baltimore, Maryland. Uh -huh. How did you know it was the oldest city in the United States? Well, uh, that's where Ponce de Leon went to look for the Fountain of Youth. And yeah, and he died there. right after that, didn't he? <laughs> <laughs> well, there's a Fountain of Youth there. There and, is? Yes, uh-huh. Yeah. When I was in, in Baltimore, I had a lot of difficulty at, in school there. And, uh, what was the matter? I don't know. It seemed like uh, I was always getting into trouble. In fact... I was suspended 16 times in my senior year for you cutting... You mean in mid-air? Yes, sir. <laughs> why, why did they let you keep coming back? Why didn't they just throw you out for keeps? I guess they just liked me. Were uh, you a good student? I no, mean, in no, those sir, few times that you were in there? No, sir, I wasn't. In fact, when I went in the Army, in my one exam, I got a 98, and I wrote home to my mother that I'd gotten 98, and she said, is this your temperature, or is this an exam mark? <laughs> She knew you pretty well. Yes, huh? sir. My mother knows me very well. What happened? Did they elect you president of the student body? No, sir. In fact, I was voted the guy least likely to succeed in oh. school. Well, I hope you haven't disappointed them, huh? <laughs> uh, I suppose you fooled them and made a million dollars, huh? No, in fact, uh, I haven't made a dime in eight months. Well, oh. you're an inspiration to the youth of America. <laughs> <laughs> Well, why, why haven't you made any money? Do you do you dislike work? Well, you I look went, prosperous. I, I went into a new business. You uh, look handsome, you look prosperous, and you're quite loquacious. All flash and no cash. <laughs> Was that you? That's me. You shouldn't uh, say that with an attractive girl alongside of you. Married. <laughs> One has to take those chances. I know. <laughs> well, you're a lovely couple, and charming, both of you handsome. And uh, if you don't get married, you're crazy. <laughs> By the way, you know our Mrs. Housing Development judges 
are very anxious to see you in a bathing suit before you leave, so you'll be thinking about it, huh? Because okay. I'm thinking of it all the time. <laughs> well, I'm going to give you a chance to win some money. George, what category have they chosen? Uh, motion picture Oscar awards, right? right. Uh, four, four chances to make right. a total of $500. Mm -hmm. Do I pick one? Uh, either one of you, uh, oh, fine. Two, sorry. Uh, that may be this a good one. This is a $200. All right. Who is the veteran character actor who has won Oscars for his supporting roles in Come and Get It, Kentucky, and The Westerner? Mm -hmm. So you can talk it over yeah. with your lady fair there. Lady Bird. Hey, um, oh, no. This is a character actor, the old man. Um, Walter Brennan. Walter Brennan is right. You oh. now have two... You have now have two... Hundred. Dollars. <laughs> right. Uh, Don't you think we work well together? <laughs> Uh, this time, uh, you have 200 and three more chances to make a total of five. Okay. And you're taking another $200 one. Mm -hmm. Who won the Oscar for Best Supporting Actress in 1957 for her role in Sayonara? Was this a little Japanese girl? Mm -hmm. What was her name? Um, right actress or actor? Actress. Actress? A little Japanese girl. Um, not Yamaguchi. Uh, George, you're from the Orient. You read it. Uh, Mayoshi Yumeki. Oh. Yumeki, right. very good sentence. <laughs> <laughs> now you have. See you later. <laughs> you have two hundred dollars, as and two more chances to make a total of five. So all is certainly not lost yet. There's another two hundred dollar one. For two hundred dollars, what actor took the Oscar for two consecutive years for Captains Courageous and Boys Town? Spencer Tracy. Spencer Tracy. Spencer Tracy. <laughs> you now have four hundred dollars, and uh, one more chance to make a total of five. And that's the smart way to do it because those are easier. <laughs> under here. Oh, here, under here. Yes. <laughs> you must look, George. Yes, I should. Be a light. You have it upside down. <laughs> well, this happens to be a Japanese question. <laughs> 1959, one picture won nine separate awards, including Best Picture. What was the picture? Huh? In 59? 1959. Gigi. Google. Yeah, Gigi. Gigi? Gigi. Gigi. Google. It's a guy. Yeah. Guy. And you uh, have five hundred dollars, which means you'll be back later to try for two, five, or ten thousand dollars. Thank you very oh, much. Wonderful. Thank you. Thank you. See you later. Thank you. Uh, Groucho, uh, Lily uh, Knighton, and Judy Crotzer are standing by. So, folks, come in, please, and meet Groucho Marx. Well, well. Welcome, welcome, uh, and say the secret word and divide an extra hundred dollars. Now, you're Lily uh, Knighton, huh? That's uh, L-I-L-L-Y-E. Is that right? Yeah. <laughs> and you're Judy uh, Kratzer, huh? Yes, that's right. Oh. Uh, you're awfully young to have a name like that. How old are you? Sixteen. Sixteen, huh? That's a wonderful age. You're just getting your first real look at the world, aren't you? That's huh? right. Maybe if you close your eyes, things won't seem so bad. <laughs> Where are you from, Judy? I was born in Orange, Texas, but I've lived in California. You were born in Orange, Texas? That's right. Yeah, I played in Orange, Texas. Oh, you did? Yeah. In the boarding house we lived there, and they gave us chili for breakfast, dinner, and supper. <laughs> Twenty-one meals. I had chili for every meal. <laughs> now, Lily, where are you from originally? From the valley? Uh, Monticello, Lily, Arkansas. Where? Monticello, Arkansas. Monticello, I beg your pardon. Monticello is in Virginia. That's where Thomas Jefferson lived. Well, Were have... you born on a farm? No, in a log cabin. In a log cabin. Uh, you're not Abraham Lincoln, huh? <laughs> Where'd you go when you left Monticello, Arkansas? Oh, to Cleveland, uh, Mississippi. Cleveland is now in Mississippi. Huh? Yes. When I was a boy, Cleveland was in Ohio. <laughs> where do you live now? Uh, Little Rock, California. Well, that's more like it. I remember when Little Rock was in Arkansas. <laughs> Things have suddenly changed since I went to school. And I guess it's all for the best, huh? <laughs> Do you have a job, Lily, or are you a housewife? Um, I'm a school teacher. Oh, well, that explains why Cleveland is no longer in Ohio. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Judy, I assume you go to school, is that right? Yes, yeah? I'm an A-11. You go to school, or you a delinquent, huh? No. <laughs> now, Lily, since you're a school teacher, you must be quite worried about today's youngsters and their education, or lack of it. Aren't you worried? No, not at all. Well, I think that the children today learn more than they did years ago. That's true, but what about in school? <laughs> Do they bring you apples? Oh, yes. Why do they always bring apples? Don't they? they never bring a watermelon or anything? Uh, yes, I've had them bring melons, too, and oh. pumpkins. Pumpkins? Thanksgiving time. Uh -huh. <laughs> but you say that the children nowadays are much brighter than the children uh, were uh, when I went to school? Uh, yes, I think they learn more today. You do. Well, you ask me any question, you know. That, any question? Well, you know, within reason, a question mm -hmm. that I would conceivably know. Uh, I dare you. Ask an, an old question, you know. Well... Like the old school I went to. Oh. Here's the old school tie, yeah. What did they do at the First Continental Congress? <laughs> <laughs> That's too easy. Ask me something difficult. <laughs> it's just uh, like any other Congress. They take free trips to Europe <laughs> and put their relatives on the payroll and they raise the taxes. <laughs> right? No, that isn't right. <laughs> Apparently, you don't know much about congressmen. <laughs> All right, Judy, you answer. You were one of the modern uh, school children. Well, that was when uh, we didn't want to pay England taxes because we didn't have a representative in, the, in their parliament. Mm -hmm. that's, that's pretty good. Was, was she right? Then? Yes, she's right. Well, that, that wasn't a fair question. <laughs> <laughs> Ask me one about baseball. I'm afraid I don't know much about sports. Oh, well, I'll ask you another You don't know one. anything about sports? Are oh. you married? Uh, you Lily, are you married? Not now. No. Never been out with a sport? <laughs> I don't think so. Now, Lily. <laughs> Lily? I'll ask you another question. Yeah. <laughs> Not until you answer mine, huh? <laughs> Lily, you rascal, you know you've been out with some gay blades in your. <laughs> well, ask me another one. Um, all right. What, uh, uh, what is the atmosphere made of? You mean around here, you mean? <laughs> <laughs> well, in L.A., the atmosphere is composed of smoke from hamburger burning to a crisp on backyard barbecue. <laughs> That's on a clear day. <laughs> on a bad day, I wouldn't know because I get out of town. What's, a, what's another question? Uh, well, let me Make it easy, you. will you? Okay. Some time since I went to school. How many layers of skin do you have? for a day. <laughs> now, would you, would you each won $50 because the secret word was... Uh... Skin. Now, what was the question that you asked me? I asked you how many layers of skin you have. I don't have any. I have a shell like a coconut. <laughs> I, I don't know. I have, a, I don't know, 15, I think. How many yes. layers do you have, Julie? Three. Three. How did you know that? <laughs> I took science. Hmm. Now, Lily, these are pretty tough questions you ask me. What college courses do you teach? I teach the fifth grade in the elementary school. Oh, oh. <laughs> no wonder I didn't know them. <laughs> but, Julie, I'm sure you're no different than millions of other girls your age. So uh, you must have a favorite singer, don't you? Yeah. Who is he? Who's your favorite singer? I like Fabian. Fabian? What is that? Is that a new kind of bubble gum? <laughs> no, the greatest. Uh, the greatest what? Fabian, Judy, let, listen to me. Fabian is a form of socialism. Isn't that true? You look that up and you'll find out that Fabian was an early form of socialism in England. Now you know about the real Fabian. He's the greatest. Now what is this? What? <laughs> Who? Fabian. This bubblegum chewer that you're talking about? Well, I give up. You have your Fabian and I'll have mine, huh? As long as we don't go to the same church. Now, why, why are you so hipped on Fabian? Because he what has Fabian got that George Bernard Shaw didn't have? 
Well, be I like him because he winked at me and he's good looking. <laughs> well, what happened when he winked at you? Did that do something to you chemically? Yes, before the show, my mother had told me, don't make a fool of yourself. Uh. Don't scream and uh, scratch your face and everything. So uh, I kind of kept it to myself, but I got kind of jumpy. But I didn't let it show. Did anybody scream? Yes, it was uh, middle-aged people. <laughs> What do you regard as a middle-aged woman? Approximately what age? 22? Uh, oh, no, 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 that's quite... Uh, oh, about 38 to 40. Uh, well, they can hardly walk, then. They, <laughs> must be tough for them to get around. No, eh? they get around quite well. They do. Huh? Did they get around Fabian after the show was over? Did you... Let me ask you, did your mother scratch herself while Fabian was singing? <laughs> huh? No, it didn't faze her. <laughs> Well, uh, what, what does that do? Why do you scratch yourself when you I hear somebody? I guess it's somebody... just an impulse. I mean, this is the natural thing. I mean, when you see a good-looking woman, don't you... Scratch myself? No. <laughs> Judy, when I scratch myself, it's for other reasons. <laughs> nearly all the time. I don't have to wait and see a pretty girl. <laughs> you always get jumpy inside when a male member of the uh, theatrical profession winks at you? Oh, yes. Mm. Suppose I winked at you. Would that do anything to you? Well, wink at me. <laughs> I didn't feel a thing. <laughs> Well, I'll tell you what it did to me. I'm starting to scratch myself. <laughs> well, you're both cute chicks, and it's been fun talking to you. Now, let's see how smart you really are when the chips are down. Uh, George, would you bring the quiz out here? The school mom and uh, Mrs. Uh, this potential Mrs. Fabian? <laughs> Is he single, Fabian? Oh, yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. Would you, if he popped the question uh, instead of his gum... <laughs> Would you, would you consent to marry him? Oh, I don't think so. No? Why no. not? Can you imagine if you were sitting uh. home alone on the couch with his, he had his arm around you and oh. you were watching Walter Brennan? <laughs> <laughs> you ought to be ashamed of yourself. Wish my daughter could get him. <laughs> what are you laughing at? Then I could quit working. <laughs> Well, what category have they chosen there? Uh, cities and small towns of the United States, right? Judy, you pick the first one. And you start with the 200? <laughs> <laughs> Would you marry a girl if she was as pretty as a picture? I think so, yes. That's not the answer. Oh, is it? <laughs> <laughs> Would you marry a girl if she was as pretty as a picture? Yes, if she had a nice frame. <laughs> I just wanted to prove to you, anybody can be funny. All they need is the right joke. <laughs> For $200, in what state are Baker, Salem, and Medford? Baker, Salem, and Medford. We differ one. Massachusetts. Washington. Washington. I'm sorry, it's Oregon. Oh. Well, so far, you've got nothing. Uh, three more chances to make a total of five hundred dollars. <coughs> Another two. In what state are Newport, Owensboro, and Covington? Owensboro, Covington, Newport. Come on, kids. You only get so much time. Newport, Owensboro, and Covington. All right, you say it. Indiana. Uh, 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 Indiana? Kentucky. Kentucky. I'll take now you have two more chances. Now you've got to decide on one answer between you. In what state are Daly City, Hayward, and San Leandro? Daly City, Hayward, and San Leandro. California. 
California. <laughs> All right, <clears throat> we have a benevolent... Actually, we shouldn't have given it to you because the bell had rung. But we realize that you're going steady and you need the money. <laughs> you have $200, one more chance to make a total of five, and you've taken three, and that'll do it this if you get it right. This one, you know, the $300 mm -hmm. one. For $300, in what state are Hampton, Fairfax, and Portsmouth? Hampton, Fairfax, Portsmouth. Uh, New Jersey? No, no. There it is. Virginia. Virginia. Well, I'm sorry that you only won $200, but you're leaving here with more than you came in here with. So I didn't too bad. So, uh, did you, oh, you got the secret word? Then you have three, uh, you had $300. Yes. See, uh, that's $150 a piece. It's not a bad night's work for a little girl who is going steady. Are you going steady, too? No, yes, with, well, with 31 children. Oh, good. That's right. Now, Groucho, here's Steve Wayne, who, with his partner, Audrey Kaufman, earned $500 in the quiz. And they're all set to try for the big question now. Oh. But first, as we promised, for the benefit of our judges in the beauty contest, Here's Audrey Kaufman as Mrs. Housing Development of Amarillo, Texas. Well, Audrey, perhaps you'll be the one who wins the title of Mrs. Housing Development of the United States. Whoever wins the title gets another trip back to Hollywood with her husband, and wins the grand prize, a brand new Ford Falcon station wagon. Now, let's see if you can win the big money. That's more important at the moment, isn't it? Yes, sir. You understand this game? We're you each pick a number. Now, you pick one for $10,000. And uh, we, we what pick number? number? We pick number one three to ten. first. You pick number three for $10,000, and you pick what for $5,000? Four. You split the money, so it doesn't make any difference. Now, uh, one of you spend the wheel, and uh, if neither of these numbers turns up, then you're going for a total of $2,000. Ready? Oh. Well, your numbers oh. were four and three, and you landed on five, so here we go for a total of 2000 Ready? Yes, sir. Let's see how well you remember your high school geometry. Oh. For $2,000, what do you call the long side of a right triangle? Talk it over. Long side of a right triangle. Uh, if you don't know, guess. Come on. Time's hy hy hypothesis? Uh, hypothesis? No. Hypothesis? Hy hypothesis? Okay, close enough. It's hypotenuse. Uh, hypotenuse. You were so close, so you have to give it to him. Uh. Oh. Now, <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, you each have $1,000. What are you going to do with that swag? Well, I'm, go I'm going to go to Honolulu and visit my son that I haven't seen for a couple of years. Oh, how old is he? He's 12. Well, that's a waiting mission. And you? Why don't you go and visit his son? He's 12 years old. <laughs> Sounds fine. Well, congratulations. You did learn something. And thanks. Uh, yes, Thank you, you did. Very much. You're quite welcome.